Well, hello, my wonderful friends. It's time again for another story. This is an interesting one. This is from our friend Destroya. And this is called Never Apologize for Enjoying What You Love. I mean, that's a very good statement, but let's read this. Hi, Moonhorse. Hello. I hope you're doing well. I'm all right. Let me get to the point. Am I in trouble? I'm a toy collector. I collect Godzilla, Gundam, Jurassic Park, Military Eve, and some Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. Cool. I'm a collector and it makes me happy. Even in my lowest days of self-harming, I look at my shells and I smile because it brings me happiness. I'm so sorry you're having to go through that, dude. That's fucking horrible. Why am I telling you this? Well, let's start at the beginning. In 2013, my then-girlfriend bought me a Halo Reach George. I don't know what that is. I loved it, and something inside woke up, and it started from there. I still had my childhood Godzilla toys and things like that, and that's where I started. At first, my mom and dad found it weird, but after a few of my dad's friends told him that they were collectors, he warmed up to the idea. Meanwhile, my mom had been collecting Lion King figures for years, so she got it. Now, for the reason I'm telling you this, because I had a couple of critics. One guy called me a pedo saying it's only for kids. That's fucking weak sauce. Why do people use pedo as a default insult? Because people aren't very creative. Most recent one was Toxic Legbeard Friend. She hated the idea of me collecting. I seriously do not know why. Although she's had arguments that are valid, she never listens to me. For example of a conversation, we kind of went like this. Well, toys are a waste of money. You should save it to buy a car, pay for insurance. Well, I already do have a car and I pay for insurance. I'm not dumb. I don't buy things every single day. Well, you still shouldn't make money like that. It's dumb. She's getting angry for some reason. Okay, well, I hate when people say that. I'm not stupid. I don't go around buying $300 figures every day. See, in my hometown, there's this beautiful place called a swap meet. And for those who don't know what a swap meet is, it's a huge empty parking lot with a lot of people selling new and used items for really, really low prices. Everything from toys, tools, guitars, you name it, you can usually find it there. In Texas, they're called flea markets. In Louisiana, they're called both. <laughs> we have a lot of those. I know exactly what you're talking about. Thrift stores are badass. At the swap meet, I find most of my toy purchases, and they're never expensive. For example, I found a 95 to 96 bull T-Rex from the Lost World movies at the swap meet for about 5 bucks. Later on, I check the internet and find the same one is worth about $200. Wow, it's a hell of a find. I have lots of examples of buying really expensive things for dirt cheap prices at the swap meet. Now, on occasion, I do buy full price figures, but that's every once in a while and only when I have a little extra. But back on point, I enjoy collecting and I'm never going to apologize for doing what I love. The main reason why is because, well, we grew up poor and you cannot believe how heartbreaking it was for me, a child, to walk to the toy aisle and see a Star Wars or Godzilla or something that I wanted and just know that that's not going to happen. My dad would occasionally buy me something, but I spent most of my childhood living with my mom and I didn't want to burden her with a selfish purchase. Now I'm an adult with my own money. I can walk in any store and get what I want. You should never bring someone down for enjoying something unless it's illegal, like drugs or something like that. And If it is something like that, you should probably help them get help. Collecting is a healthy way to express yourself. If your friend has a shoe collection, good for him. If a cousin with Warhammer figures, it's awesome. Neckbeard has anime figures, sure, why not, that's fine. I have a coworker with a porn collection. Strange, but that's fine, it's his thing. I don't think he's a sex addict or anything, but, you know, that's his life. My point is just be yourself, and if people don't like you for who you are, well, fuck them. I'll leave you and the Celestial Herd with this quote from a professor who teaches the sociology of Star Wars. A baseball player can go to a game and experience it live, but for sci-fi fans, we can go to the movies, but even then, it's Harrison Ford as Han Solo, as the toys are the closest we can get to actually getting to touch and experience Star Wars.
Okay. So, this is a whole thing about collecting. Um, I have some little collections of things here and there. I just never really, you know, take pictures or videos or anything like that. Um, but I have some that are probably not what you would consider, like, you know, impressive to the point of, like, oh, they're worth a million dollars or anything like that. But they mean a lot to me. So, when I was little, maybe about five or six, the, uh, the gas company Texaco would sell these little banks modeled after different, uh, like, vehicles from different timelines that were all Texaco branded things. Things that were used in their advertisement from way back in, like, the 1910s to, I think they stopped the line sometime in the late 90s. I don't really know. But... I used to love these things. I used to think they were really cool. They were really, really detailed. They were really well made. And they were a neat investment. And we used to stop at the Texaco station near my house whenever we were coming back from school because we lived outside of the city limits. I feel you growing up poor. I did too. And so these little banks that I would get, because that's what they were. They were little coin banks in the shapes of cars and things like that. Um, they always meant a lot to me because it was always my mom and my grandfather who would buy them for me. And for years, they were in storage because we moved so much, I just didn't have a place to put them. Uh, once a while back, I told the story about how I had a bunch of uh, Gundam models, like the plastic models. But because we moved so much and there was no proper way to move them carefully a bunch of them got broken and I just don't have them anymore which is a real shame because I really really liked making those I'm only just now starting to get back into that and it is a little expensive and it's really hard to find the kits for those particular types so it's taking me a little bit to get back into it but I did have some donated to me a wonderful gift and Sango bought me the giant Epion that's on my desk and I adore these things Collecting things is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I have a strange collection of all kinds of stuff. Uh, recently, I've been looking at getting some, uh, you know, like Evangelion figures and stuff like that. I mean, I have one. I have a, a little model of Ava 6. Mostly, I just want the Avas. Um, but they're really expensive, so I'm not getting them, you know, immediately. And I have other things I have to spend on first. But I understand what you're talking about when it comes to your toxic legbeard friend who doesn't seem to understand the difference between other people's priorities. See, I got that a lot too. I get that a lot even now doing what I do now. I'll tell people that I really don't need to or I really don't want to go somewhere. I mean, right now you shouldn't because, you know, Backstreet Boys. But... Even if that wasn't a thing, I've had people tell me, like, oh, well, you should just go, like, on a vacation. It's like, no. No, I, I need to do this, and I can take breaks, or I can take time to myself, but I don't want to go on some elaborate vacation that costs money because I don't want to spend the money. It's not that I can't afford it. It's that I don't want to. I would rather use that money on things to increase stuff for this channel. Much in the same way that she's saying that you shouldn't spend money on things that you like. Instead, you should spend money on things that are, like, practical. But practicality and things you enjoy are things that the individual budgets. And it sounds like it, to me, that you've already done that. You've already budgeted this idea of what can I get from where and how. And it's not as though you're not, you know, having food because you wanted to buy the new, uh, you know, giant Shin Godzilla figure or something. More like, I already paid my bills. I have, like, I don't know, 200 bucks in just whatever money. This figure's like $90. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it, it's, it's not as though you're, you know, spending wastefully. It's literally just... That person doesn't like that you found something you enjoy. And believe me, I've, I've had that too. Uh, I've met several 
wonderful individuals in my life who just don't like the things that I do simply because they don't understand it. Uh, I like, you know, technical work. I like, you know, upgrading my computer. I like working on my truck. I like doing these things, even though sometimes it's really difficult. And I've more than once had people just like, oh, well, you should just get somebody to do that. You could just hire somebody or you could just, you know, do something else. And it's like, yeah, but that's not the point. The point is I want to. And it's like, well, I don't understand why you would do that. And it's like, well, that's not, you know, that's also the point. It's not about you. It's about me. This is my thing. Why can't you let me do my thing? There's a bunch of different people who have a bunch of different kinds of collections. And as for that last note where you're like your friend or acquaintance or whatever has a porn collection, it's actually not the first time I've heard that. Um, the There's a couple of people who have that, uh, mainly because that kind of material is incredibly difficult to find. Because, you know, it was illegal for the longest part. And, I mean, even the stuff that we would consider illegal now... And even now, that kind of stuff is becoming less and less, you know, printed and more digital because of easier access. So having access to these things or getting a hold of these things is kind of a, the hunt, the whole thing of, you know, collecting. Really, the main person that I can think of who actually has admitted to having any kind of a pornography collection is fucking Pee Wee Herman. Uh, that's actually true, by the way. You can look that up. He he does have a vintage pornography collection. And it's apparently very impressive and quite expensive. Because, uh, yeah, that's not a thing that was made in mass production. You can go to any store and try to find a copy of, you know, any of the Star Wars movies. But can you find an original flip machine that played some of the original, what were considered adult movies in like the 1920s? 10s and 1920s not really that's kind of a rare thing and that's kind of the motivator for some people who collect rare items it's not about the subject matter per se but rather the hunt to find said subject matter the the thrill of finding the thing the the whole i don't know adventure i guess is the word i'm looking for it's much in the same way when it comes to, like, classic vehicles. I am well aware of the fact that I do not need to restore uh, my truck the way I do. I could very easily, you know, get a loan or something. Well, probably not easily get a loan, but that's a different, you know, conversation entirely. I could get a loan or some shit and work some shitty 9-to-5 job and get, like, a newer vehicle. But that's not the point. It's about the item itself. It's about what it means to you. So you're absolutely right. No one can take away from you the things that you enjoy, and no one has the right to. It's your life, and you should be able to enjoy it however you want. And, and if anybody has a problem with that, I mean, yeah, fuck them. It's not about them. You kind of have to stick up for yourself from time to time. And with that being said, that's the end of this video. So thank you all for being here. I love you all so very, very much. And take care of yourself out there, kids. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.